right, another Star Wars Legion release. Today we have Gar Saxon Commander Expansion. Just came out today. Pretty cool looking art on the front of the box. Victory or death, Gar Saxon. Looks like you can build them a couple different ways. And again, it's for Atomic Mass Games. Got their logo on there now. Hey, okay. totally like the shield option. Let's go ahead and open it up. what we got in here. Put the box art just over there. Okay. Our sprue, our instructions, and contents. Let's go ahead and open up these instructions here. You know, with these new releases, they've got a full picture on the back side. It's pretty cool. The other side here, we got our QR code. Looks like you can scan that, and download the assembly instructions. A couple different options to build them with the shield or his long rifle. We got our credits here, which is pretty cool to see. Really dig in the, the art here. Set that aside. Let's look at our tokens and cards. Here's our tokens. Got the shield token. Suppression, our command token, some wounds, really like the yellow outline of this faction. All right. Also heard that you can download the shield upgrade card since I don't think they included it by accident. Looks like we have Saxon's 90 rifle, range one to four, a red, black, and a white dice, high velocity, lethal one, long shot. Very cool. Saxon's Z3X jetpack rockets. Looks like you have to tap that. Blast, cycle, and impact. I like the art on that. His flame projector. Pretty cool. Spray and suppressive weapon. One time use. Up close and personal upgrade card. Emergency transponder. Prepared supplies. We got the cash dodge one. That's pretty cool. And endurance. We've seen that before. Let's look at his. Unit card, Gar Saxon. Jump to allies of convenience. Your armory may include one additional mercenary of any rank. You can issue orders to friendly mercenary units regardless of affiliation. He has Compel, Impervious, and Sharpshooter 1. Five health unit. Surge to crit and surge to block. defense. Cool art on the back there. Here's his command cards. His one pip marked for elimination. Gar Saxon gains two aim tokens. Choose an enemy commander or operative unit. That unit gains four observation tokens and two suppression tokens. Fight another day. Gar Saxon and two troopers. 
Gar Saxon cannot issue orders beyond range one. When Gar Saxon issues an order to a unit, that unit gains one dodge token. Gar Saxon and each friendly unit gains outmaneuver. Special Forces unit. You cannot spend dodge, you can spend dodge tokens to cancel crit results. Victory or death. Pretty cool art there. Gar Saxon and two troopers again. When Gar Saxon issues an order to a unit, that unit gains one aim token. Gar Saxon and each friendly special forces unit gain out maneuver. Okay, let's put these aside here. We got our base, and we have our sprue here for Gar Saxon. Very nice and detailed. A couple shields, his jetpack, there's his long rifle option or a single pistol with his shield. You have the option of his face or his helmet over here. Very cool. Let's go ahead and assemble him. Just gonna use some Gorilla Glue, some sprue cutters. And you can find his instructions online. I'll go ahead and post them on here for you as well. All right. Let's go ahead and clip out his body here. And let's get his legs out as well. I like to line it up right next to the flat part. And if not, we're gonna go back over it with our hobby knife and clean it up if need be. Set that aside. So for example, you know, if I didn't like the top of his leg here as much, I can just kind of scrape it off a little bit. Call that good. And same here. and on his chest and back piece. Otherwise, it's actually not too much cleanup work here. Let's go ahead and glue these up together. I prefer to use super glue from Gorilla Glue, but you guys can do whatever you like. You know, some is better than others. I've always used it. You just may have to hold on to it a little longer as far as allowing it time to dry. If you get a little much on there, just wipe it off with your finger and that'll be good. Okay, there's that. Get his legs on here. Oh, that's pretty simple. Look at that. Hold on to it there for a moment. Let it dry. Grab his other one here. touch his other leg. Okay. There we go. We'll set that aside and let's go ahead and punch out more here. Let's get his jet pack. It's the next step. And 
like his two side holsters here. Let's clean those up with our X-Acto blade. These are very tiny pieces here. Looking forward to the Ewoks when they release. They're going to be very tiny to put together. It'll be interesting to see what that sprue looks like. I guess it'll be a while before we get those though. Which is fine. Just a little bit of cleanup here on the jetpack. I think my sprue cutters are kind of crooked. Might have to invest in a better pair. Okay, let's go ahead and glue on his jetpack here. Doesn't take too much glue. You see, I have a little bit of cleanup here left to do. I'll get that in a moment. Yeah, these are very small pieces here. It's giving me nightmares from the droid assembling. I think we're going to do his helmet because it looks so cool. I wouldn't mind getting a couple of these guys and painting them up. Plan is, is to paint this up and post another video on how we're going to do that and give that away as well. Alright, let's go ahead and put his head together here. Very cool. All right, let me go ahead and clean up his shoulder pad here a little bit. There we go. And let's just apply a little glue on the shoulders here. that it sticks right in with an angle I think we should assemble assemble him with his uh, shield option I think that's really cool looking so the instructions gives you a step A or step B I'm gonna go with step A and assemble his shield that requires A9 and A10 for his arm here's A9 single pistol up here. Let's go ahead and clean those up. Dropping his pistol. Okay. Let that dry for a moment. Let's go ahead and punch out A11 and A12, his shield arm. All right, so they're over here.
And then we're gonna get the shield, which is A13. Looks like they give you a couple just in case. It's kind of cool. We can maybe utilize this on some other models if you want to make something a little different. Like to work on these steps, let it get some time to dry, and then put it in. Just like that. We'll let that dry while we assemble his other arm here. little dab of glue. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry before applying the shield. All right, so these are his little pistol handles coming out of his shield here. I'm just gonna use my blade here to just kind of line it where I want it to go, just like that. Probably the hardest part of the model, in my opinion. Right, let's go ahead and get the other side. Just apply a little bit here. And then I just like to grab it. Make sure the handle's facing the right way. Very hard, difficult. Probably should have kept it on the sprue and then applied the model to it first and then cut it. It's another way to do it. Oh, look at that. It's pretty cool. The other thing is, is you know, maybe you don't want to apply his pistol on this side because he's holding one, but ah, eh, whatever. His hands had time to dry now. We can go ahead and apply his shield. All right, finally got his arm on. Pretty cool looking miniature. He's having a hard time figuring out where to place his shield. If it was just right here on his wrist plate or just back a little further. And looking more closely, I can see his fist and his instructions and maybe it's back a little bit, but you can even put it up even more if you want it. But it's kind of where I found a nice spot for it to lay. And it's you know, back in here, so that's good. All right, well that finishes up this video. Go ahead and stay tuned for when we paint this miniature and give it away. 